All right, so welcome back to Pinoy Screencast. I'm B-Boy, and uh, today, finally, dumating na ang pinakainihintay ko, ang Playground Come 200 Touch. So I recently posted this last month, and a teaser showing you guys kung ano ang capability nito. So, so usually, action camera, makikita nyo na it's just a typical na may buttons, and you can just trigger it, and it will just capture. But this one, again, my touch feature. Medyo na bago yung box niya actually. Yung previous na pahaba na um, squarish type na similar with the uh, CAM 200 na previous version nila. So this one, mas maliit na yung packaging and then circular siya. Really nice looking. And uh, makikita natin dito na ito yung laman ng kanyang uh, packaging. May action camera, rechargeable ion battery, micro SD, curved adhesive mount, waterproofing case, open back the door, which is yung uh, case nito, connecting screw, short connector, USB, and then yung app where you can scan. If you remember, before ang gamit niya is C-Max or Sys-Max ata yung tawag doon. But this one, meron na siyang dedicated playground na application, which I'm going to show you later on. So, feature niya is a full 1080p, 60fps recording, and then built-in a 2-inch touchscreen display, plus waterproof using the waterproof case. Alright, so let's check this out. Tignan natin kung ano ang meron sa loob. Okay. So I can slide this out. Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. So we have manual. Wow. Parang mas detailed ngayon ang manual niya. Startup guide. So mas maikli. Yung mga details. So you how to use the app, how to connect it. And then we have a USB. Oh, this is a better USB. So, hindi na siya yung typical na USB lang. So, this one is thicker and I think way better. Another mount. And then a uh, battery. 1,100 mAh. And this one is yung back cover niya. And uh, to put this is we're going to remove this one and replace natin ito. And uh, ginagamit to if you want to use the touch screen functionality. So, yeah. Oh! Mayroon siyang 8 GB na SanDisk. So, this is nice. At least hindi nyo na kailangan bumili in case na wala pa kayong micro SD. Alright, so that's all I think's inside. Okay, so to remove arrow, ayan, then slide, then up. And this one, move like this. And ayan yung camera. And again, if I want to remove this, I can easily slide it. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Plastic. So there, so yan yung tsura niya kapag nakakabit yung uh, waterproof case with the uh, no, open back cover. So usually this one is applicable kapag bumabiyahe kayo and uh, you still want to protect the device or yung lente ng mismo action camera but still you want to access the touchscreen feature niya. Although syempre hindi siya waterproof na pero I think uh, more on sa dustproof siya at least, di ba, protectado yung action camera. Alright, so itong micro SD dito kinakabit sa uh, gilid. And then we have HDMI out, so this is a mini HDMI. And then your micro USB, and we have the top a LED indicator, plus this is a speaker or microphone. Then two buttons, so this is for the record and power. And oh, this is the speaker on the right side. And here's a ilali magiting an American tripod mount. So this is great because usually tripod mounts are included on some mismo mount na accessories. So without using the accessory, you can mount this sa mismo tripod na. And uh, we can use it directly. So as easy, so yung mga selfie stick usually, di ba? Kapag may uh, mount na kagad yung selfie stick nyo, easily you can put it here. Also, uh, we have another LED indicator, I think, this one, the bottom. Okay, so let's now boot this up and let's see ang kanyang interface. Okay, may beep kagad. Pero nakita ko meron siyang LED indicator rin dito. And this one and sa ilalim. So that's nice. Maraming LED indicator. So let's navigate. Oh, may na be beep. Okay, is there a way to for me to disable yung beep? Okay, so sa setup mo tayo. I'll disable yung beep niya. No, oh, there you go. Beep. So may annoying yung beep niya lakas. Here, so general settings, we can see that we have a uh, control mic. Oh, nice. We can control the brightness of the screen, the volume, and the microphone. Oh, wow. Before wala yon. Uh, LED indicator. Four, so ah oh, so apat siya na LED indicator so one two three and yung four nasarap yung pang apat na LED indicator okay so I can uh, set that also so quick record we can switch it to on and off so three seconds up to five seconds and then 
Uh, LCD will turn off after 5 minutes. Yun lang yung settings niya. Auto power off. Pwede natin iset na after 5 minutes, nag-turn off siya or after 30 minutes. Yun yung maximum niya. So far, yung touch screen niya, it's really responsive so far. Hindi ako nahihirap mag-navigate. Screen lock. Oh, okay. So, pwede natin mag-screen lock upon ano, 30 seconds sa maximum. And TV out, NTSC. So, disable ko muna yung... Okay, that's all for the general setup. And uh, we have the connection. This is for the Wi-Fi. Plus, we have the effect setup. So, ito yung maganda feature niya actually. So, meron kang zoom. Uh, this is digital zoom. So, this is not optical zoom. And uh, basically, uh, yung effect niya is parang mas ano, uh, mawawala yung fish eye effect niya. So, meron siyang filter din. So, ito yung uh, black and white, sepia, vivid, natural, negative. So, ito yung usually nakikita yung sa mga smartphone, di ba? So, rather than putting effects sa post-production, you can basically implement it dito kagad sa app or sa mismong settings niya. AE meter, yung center, average, and spot. And uh, let's see. So, meron pa siyang uh, exposure. So, my white balance, uh, ISO, upside down. So, ito yung kapag nakabit sa inyong car or sa inyong uh, dash cam, you can invert it. Kasi, di ba, naka-tripod mode na ganyan, usually kinakabit nyo na pa ganyan sa inyong dash cam. So, you will need to invert it para at least tama yung uh, video niya. And then also the timestamp. So, uh, for the mode, we have the manual mode. So, currently, naka-manual mode ako. But I can set it to looping. Ito yung pang uh, dash cam again. Time lapse, driving, and parking. And ang resolution natin, maximum is uh, 1080p, 720p, meron din, and then 480p. FPS, ang maximum niya is 60 and 30 FPS. And uh, field of view, that's FOV. So wide, uh, super wide, and then wide, and then medium, and then narrow. So mamaya test out ko yun para makita natin yung difference ng recording. Video quality. So, normal, super fine, and fine. So, of course, ito na sa pinakamataas, super fine. WDR, so, uh, wide dynamic range. So, this one is parang HDR mode, yung feature na yun. So, you can turn it on and off. And uh, DIS, so, ito yung medyo di ko pa sure kung ano yung meaning ng DIS. It's for the photo. So, 8.5 8 megapixel ang default, but you can set it to 16 megapixel and 12 megapixel. And uh, field of view, meron din na settings, and then picture quality, doon tayo sa pinakamataas, as fine. So, uh, yeah, I can playback, video, photo, and then sa ilalim, we also have a quick record microphone. I can mute the mic if I don't want. Oh, that's good! Kasi usually, di ba kapag nag-record action camera, sometimes you don't want to uh, turn on yung microphone kasi minsan wala naman siyang makakukuha na audio. Let's say, ginamit mo siya sa aerial. Usually, kapag aerial, you don't need the audio. So, by default, naka-on siya pero you can uh, turn it off if you want to. And also, speaker and then yung beep. <laughs> Dito pa yung beep. Mas madali siyang i-access dito. So, by sliding down or slide up, ito yung quick access niya. That's nice. Alright, so let's install the app and uh, let's check kung paano itsura niya sa mismong application ng playground. Alright, so this is the app. Ang pangalan niya is Playground Sports HD. Ayan. So, bagong-bago siya, di ba? Alright, so now it's connected to our app. And, uh, ayan. Nakakonect na siya. I can press this. And, uh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Ayan. You can see. So, uh, this one, I can record here. And I can also set the settings. So, the settings niya, basically all the settings that I've mentioned a while ago, is nandito lahat yun. Alright, so for the final test, of course, I'm going to test it out outside and I'm going to shoot some footages. And let's see the output. Alright, so ito yung wide niya, 1080p, 60fps. And this is the default. So this is the super wide. So super wide yan. So this is the wide. The medium. And this is the narrow. Super wide. DIS and uh, WDR is off. Wide 1080p DIS is off. WDR is off. 1080p 30fps medium. WDR off, DIS off, 1080p, 30fps, narrow, WDR off, DIS off.
All right, so there you go, guys. This is the Cam 200 Touch. Uh, let me know in the comment section down below kung ano masasabi niya sa video quality niya. And uh, so far, I like the touch feature. It's really convenient rather than uh, pressing yung button. And uh, yun. So for the full detail, I'll link it down below and where you can check the pricing. And once again, I'm B-Boy. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!